Hey guys, welcome to my second playthrough video of D-Day Dice 2nd Edition. Today we're gonna play Omaha Beach, which is the second map. We're starting over here and as we can see on the map our starting resources are four soldiers. So we're gonna go ahead and add that to our resource card. And we'll do our first roll of the game. gonna go ahead and lock those two dice would nice to get a star now <laughs> I got some soldiers instead still good roll I think I'm happy I got two stars and I got one two three four five six seven men so that's eleven now all right so we go into the next phase, which is uh, adjust our unit marker. And now we can see if we want to rally a specialist. I already know that I don't want to do that. I'm going to wait for that. Uh, and now we have to do our combat because we're not going to move. And it's a free combat value. So we're going to go down to eight men. And I'm going to go ahead and roll again. Locking those two dice. Ooh, that's a nice roll. Kind of hoping for the two soldiers now, but fortunately not. Still though, I did manage to get two more stars. I got one courage and I got six men. So I'm up to 14. 12 12 men I think I was at uh, 14 I was at 8 all right so we're gonna go ahead and adjust our unit marker I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's a specialist I want to get and I have a special one in mind the medic one of my favorite cards and the medic costs us four stars, so we're down on zero again. And then we have to do battle, it's a free battle uh, value, but we have a medic, so we're just gonna lose two men. So we're back down to 12. And we roll our dice again. I got a very nice amount of stars, very happy about that. some courage and a soldier again okay I'm gonna be happy with those stars I'm saving that we look at our uh, for our American army and as a leadership we're gonna gain two courage so I'm adding my RWB bonus to courage we're up to three I also got one courage from the roll one soldier and four stars all right so we will adjust our unit marker again and again i'm gonna go and see if there's a soldier i want to recruit and of course i have one in mind i want to go ahead and get the captain now we have to move forward because we have the red arrow and we're gonna go ahead and move into the sector two and as you see the black shield here, it means that you can only stay for one turn here. So I'm adjusting my unit marker to the black shield side. We have to pay one courage for the movement into that area. Uh, you can see the courage cost here on the line. That's only when you're advancing. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do combat. And it's a 6 combat value. We have the medic, so that's going to be a 5. So we're down now to 8 men. And we roll again. We get 2 RWBs here. That's very nice. Also, I'm going to go ahead and adjust my stars to 0 because I did buy the captain. Alright, so we got 2 RWBs on that roll. We got... Uh, dead man's gift and we got the leadership so the leadership rwb is giving us two courage 
The Dead Man's Gift is giving us 17 item points. And it's also going to give us, uh, let's see, two stars. Wonderful. On top of that, we did roll three stars. So we now have five stars. And on top of that, we also have one plus here. So that's going to give us one item point. So we're up to 18. Okay. So, because we're in this area, we can only stay for one turn. When we're adjusting our unit marker, it goes to the red arrow again. And we have to move into the next sector. And now we have to do combat again. And actually, before I do move in, I'm going to go ahead and buy some specialists. I have five stars. I'm going to go ahead and buy the Minesweeper. And that's going to cost me three stars. So I'm down to two. And I'm moving in. And we have to do battle. It's again six minus one because I have the medic. So I only have three men remaining now. Now I'm going to have to rally some men or I'm going to have a hard time in the next sector. Okay, I got an RWB here again. But unfortunately, because I have so little men, I'm going to have to ignore that. Okay, I'm getting some men, but I was hoping for an RWB, but woohoo, look at that. I don't think you can get a better roll than that. I mean, I could have gotten two RWBs, but I'm still not complaining. So this RWB here, uh, which is fresh troops, gives the Americans five soldiers. I'm going to go ahead and add that, and we're now up to 8 soldiers. On top of that, we have 6, 8, 9, 10, 18. All right, and we also get one star, because as you can see here, there's a 1 plus star to your tally. We're adjusting our unit marker from the shield to the red arrow, meaning we have to advance. Again, in the black shield areas, you can only stay for one sector. And I'm going to go ahead and recruit a soldier. As you can see here, there's a requirement here. And the requirement is for this specialist. You have to have this specialist to move into that area. And the specialist required is the sharpshooter, which lets you ignore one skull in your final tally. I actually forgot I had the captain. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep that in mind because he's a very powerful card. Uh, don't forget about the captain. That's a bad idea. Alright, reducing my stars by 2 because I bought the sharpshooter and I'm going to go ahead and move in. Resetting my unit marker. Okay, so two things here. We have the requirement here that you have to have the sharpshooter. We do. We also have a minefield here. We would have rolled uh, one of these dice to see how many men we lost. But since we do have the minesweeper, we don't have to do that. Excellent. Alright, on top of that we have to spend courage. So the cost of courage is 2. And again, we see the cost of courage here. So the next time I move, I'm going to have to have free courage. Then we have our battle. There is many things to keep track of. But then we have our battle and the battle value is 8. But we do have a medic. So it's going to be 7. So we're going to go down to 11 men. All right. I could even get an RWB from that if I wanted to because I have the captain, but I am pretty satisfied with what I got. I feel like I need to gather some troops now. Hmm. Alright, I got an RWB, which is the battle cry, which will give me two stars. On top of that, I got three soldiers. I got one star. And I also got free courage. I am adjusting my unit marker. I'm going to take a look if there's a card I could get some help from. This one would give me nine men. That would be nice. 
Hmm. He's a reserve specialist, meaning you can only get one of those. And I think the ones I already have are regular specialists, so I could get him, yeah, I could. But I am not quite sure I want to. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and get the scout. So, that is two stars. So I'm gonna adjust my stars from three down to one. And we're gonna have to battle again, and again it's eight minus one because of the medic. So it's gonna be a seven. So we're from down from 14 to seven soldiers. And we're gonna go at it again. All right, looks like I'm gonna be able to rally some troops now. Hmm. I'm locking those two. Oh, where are my soldiers? Oh, come on. Hmm. Okay, I'm not too happy about that roll, but that's the way to go sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of that with my captain into um, it's gonna be a red one, meaning I get an RWB. The R RWB from Special Fire means gain four soldiers, or you can buy an item that you have used. I have no used item, so I'm gonna go ahead and gain four soldiers. So I'm going from seven to eleven. Ah, that rhymes. Uh, we got four soldiers, so we're up to fifteen. We got one courage, up to seven. We have three tools plus one because of our scout, meaning we we get four of them. And for tools is 12 item points. That's cool because 30 is a nice even number. I can get some nice stuff with that to kind of save myself a little bit in the coming battles. I'm adjusting my unit marker and I'm gonna go see here in my item deck if there's some stuff I wanna get. I'm gonna go ahead and get the Bangalore torpedo. And that's going to cost me 20 item points, so I'm now down to 10. We have to do battle, I'm losing 7 men again. Oof, I need to rally some soldiers. And I'm down to 8 now. Okay, this is going to be the last turn in that sector, then I'm going to have to face machine guns and stuff. Oof. Alright, not looking too good. Should I save him or him? Okay, I have to save both of them because I have to lock two dice. So that's a simple choice. I did get a second one. Hoping here I'm gonna get a third one. Yes! All right, I'm locking the soldier with the... Actually, I'm not doing that because the sharpshooter lets me ignore one skull. So I got the RWB there. That's gonna give me five soldiers. So I'm up to 13. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm up to 21. 21 soldiers. Okay, we will adjust our unit marker. It's on the red arrow, indicating we have to move this turn, but I'm also gonna go ahead and buy something this turn, and I'm gonna go ahead and buy the grenade, I think. Hmm, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and add a grenade. Before I do that though, I will also add one item point because I forgot about having the scout. But yeah, this one will add one tool to your final tally every uh, turn. So that's one item point. I went ahead and bought the grenade here that can silence, uh, silence and, or you won't have to take machine gun fire one turn. And I'm going down now to one item point from 11. All right, so I'm gonna to have to move now and we're moving on in this sector. We're gonna turn this one to the shield because this is a max one unit area and in solitaire that means you can only stay for one turn. We see here that there are mines. I ignore them because I have the mine uh, sweeper. The cost of moving in is free courage. So we have to reduce our courage now to four Uh, this I, uh, this uh, one shows that we have to have a scout, and the scout will also be KIA, so the scout is gone. 
All right. So we have the battle. There is a 10 battle value plus machine gun fire. Before we battle, we're going to go ahead and use our grenade to prevent the machine gun fire for one turn. And we won't have to take those casualties now. So the casualties we're going to take is 10, but we have the medic, so it's going to be 9. So we're going to go down to 12. So we have 12 soldiers now. Okay, this is getting difficult because I need 9 courage. I only have 5. And I need to raise quite a lot of men to be able to survive this. So I'm not too happy about the odds, but... Hmm, I need to have like pull 25 soldiers at least, so we'll see how this goes. All right. <laughs> okay, I got so many stars. Not something I really need now, but that's the way it goes. And there comes the soldiers. Come on, give me one more. Just one more. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and use the captain and change this color to blue, meaning we got an RWB. The RWB for that is 8 soldiers, so I'm going from 12 to 20 soldiers. I get 2 courage, so I'm adding those here. On top of that, I also get 1 star. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my unit marker. And now I'm going to see, is there a specialist I want to get? Is there someone who can help me out of this situation? Hmm. We have two stars. This one would save me two courage. Let's see, I have six. And that one would, would be good actually. See, he's a reserve specialist. I have a regular, another regular, one more regular, and this guy is a ranking. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the platoon leader. And that's two stars. All right. So we have to advance now. I'm advancing up here. Again, I'm not going to have to roll for the minefield because I have the minesweeper. I am going to have to lose my medic, unfortunately. So the medic says goodbye. And let's see, I have to pay four courage, but I have the platoon leader. So it's going to be three courage instead. So I go from six to three. And now, before we start the battle sequence, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my Bangalore torpedoes to reduce the defense of the sector to zero. So that's sacrificed. Also, this is reset to the first one. But we still have the machine gun fire here. So that's something we're going to have to try to survive. Whew. I was hoping for at least a 3, but it's a 5. We're down now to 15 men. Okay, we get one roll. And this, I can tell you, is the final roll. Uh, there's 20 here and there's a machine gun fire so there's a possibility that this is going to be 26 in casualties. I have 15 plus 4 so that's 19 men. So I kind of need to gather... I, it would be nice to gather 6 men. But I need one courage as well to be able to even go in there. Alright, I'm hoping the first roll here is going to be good. Well, I mean, it's not super, but it could definitely be worse. We have our courage here, which we need. We need five courage. We have three, but we also have the platoon leaders. We only need four, so just one more. We got three soldiers there. Oh, well, this is getting interesting because if I get one... Oh, I can't really... Well, that's six. Oh, I should be able to do it this way. Oh, could, could have been uh, something better, I think, but that's the way it goes. All right, so we get one item point. We have two item points. Wow, that's very good. All right, uh, one courage. And we get six men, so we're now up to 21. 
21 soldiers. Okay. We have zero stars. We're gonna go ahead and adjust our unit markers. We have zero star. We have two item points. I don't believe there's anything you can buy for for something that low. Yeah, you need five. If I had five item points, I could get the walkie-talkie. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and move into the bunker. That's gonna cost me five minus one courage. And that's exactly what I have. I have four. And we're gonna have to battle this beast. Okay, so there's a machine gun fire symbol there. So let's see what fate will bring us here. Oh, it's a two. So that's 22 men. I have 21 here. I'm gonna go ahead and s let's see. I don't even want to sacrifice my... Uh, my guys here, uh, but I'm I'm sacrificing 21 men here and then I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the sharpshooter so he's he's K KIA all my men are KIA but I'm still alive because I have three specialists left and to lose the game you will have to lose all your, all your specialists and all your soldiers so I managed to conquer Omaha Beach and wow that was a close call I mean if this one would have been, let's see, I would have survived on a 3, a 4, a 5. I actually, I would have only been dead if it was a 6. But, I mean, that's still, like, when you really need something, you will not get it. Like, now I want to show you how easy it is to roll a 6. And, okay, there it, there it goes. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm happy. I'm happy about winning Omaha Beach. And I'm going to go ahead and do, I think the next one is Gold Beach. Uh, quite soon so stay tuned to my channel please do subscribe and all, all as always thank you for watching